Hi everybody, Keto for Real Life People. It is noon, it is Thursday, and I'm gonna attempt to make chicken waffles for you today. Now, I only have a limited time because I have a crazy, crazy busy schedule today. So, um, everybody's seen the waffles. They are simple. I've got two waffle makers out. I got one to make a waffle, a chicken waffle, and one to make a waffle bowl. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to do was get some pork skins out because I've made waffle bowls. I, I played around with it, and yes, I posted it, and yes, I showed y'all some stuff. My ring's all quick, like, but I came up with the, um, well, I came to the conclusion that for the chicken waffle, the big one, a little bit of pork skin is great. You can buy some pork panko. It's fantastic. If you have a food processor or a blender or a good bag and a rolling pin, you can make your own uh, pork skins and you don't need that many for this. It's sort of like the cooking chicken, okay? So, um, <clears throat> I'm getting ready for Elizabeth to come in for lunch and then I have to take her back to work today, so bear with me. Now, I broke my waffle maker. <laughs> I don't know that I broke it. I won't say that I broke it. Oh, I guess plugging this in will help too. Um, but my waffle maker, my big one, just decided to, while it was making a waffle, just the clasp on it popped off so it won't lock down. So I got to hold it. Um, I do plan on sending it back to Amazon and replacing it. But I just want a little bit of pork crumb for the big waffle. Uh, another thing, guys, I'm going to try to get this really fine. You don't want hard little crunchy bits in your breading, okay? This is an all carnivore waffle, guys. This is clean eating. This is delicious. My family said, oh, my God, this is restaurant quality. I'm going to let it go with this. Uh, things I'm doing, ingredients today, are going to be... Um, eggs. We just need a few eggs. Oops. Me and this ginger here. Uh, salt and pepper. And a little bit of heavy cream. Some pork skins and some chicken. That's it, y'all. Now, as y'all know, I love, love, love. What the heck is this? Oh, it's ginger. It's ginger beers in here because Elizabeth has a tummy. As y'all know, you can take, I love recipes that you can take and do something with. So if you wanted to make this a Southwestern chicken waffle, or you wanted to add Italian seasoning, or maybe you wanted it to have a, a Asian flair and add some ginger or turmeric or whatever, garlic, you do you boo. I mean, you could do this anyway. Uh, when I was making this the other night, everybody who was in the keto kitchen got a sneak peek. Uh, Elizabeth went live in that that uh, group for the supporters, and they got to see every device I had going because I was going crazy. And I can't see any of y'all's comments because my granddaughter took my other device with her yesterday. I gotta get it back. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a paper plate. I'm going to put this little bit of pork skin because that I'm just making one for y'all today and get it, show you how to do it. And I'm gonna flatten it out so that it's just nice and flat on my plate, as you see. I'll set this over here. Oh, no, I need it. I need it. Now, when it comes to the chicken, I don't know why I'm weird, but I'm weird. I'm weird, weird, weird. I like to... Um, <clears throat> start with chicken thighs and leave all the fat on it and put it in here. But you can buy ground chicken, ground turkey. I tried ground beef, not so good. So, uh, get you some chicken here. I'm gonna get another little plate. I think there's two right here. Yes, there is. And I'm gonna move my chicken onto this. I don't know what it is, y'all. I do. I just like cutting up my chicken and putting it through the food processor myself. I guess I think it's cheaper because I don't have to pay for somebody to process it. I just cut it up into chunks, I throw it in here, I give it a whir, it's done. I've got as much or as little ground chicken as I need. But 
if you are into saying, hey, screw that, I just want some, uh, I just want some pre-made, go for it. It'll work just fine. So far, everything I've done, I've done myself, and I think I've enjoyed the texture and the meatiness of it. Something about it, naughty, minimal processing at home makes it work. Now, I have a pound and a half of chicken, you guys. Um, and that's about a good spot. I did two pounds of chicken the other day just because I had so many different things going on uh, that I was trying. But a pound, and, a pound and a half of chicken actually goes pretty darn far. Uh, the waffle bowls, y'all, are fantastic. I did use some breading on those. They were very good, so if you want to, you can. But then I did the chicken in the bowl, the waffle bowl maker, without breading. And everybody said, oh, I think that's better. I even went so far as I have this Pizzell, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Pizzell maker, and did a tablespoon of chicken really thin. Actually, I have to give my sister-in-law credit for that because uh, she did it, and I did two tablespoons, and it was a little thick. She did one tablespoon and made the flattest, thinnest chicken tortilla you've ever seen, and it was amazing. So. If you're a carnivore or you're wanting to avoid some flowers, and here comes Elizabeth, she's just pulling in the driveway, um, you could do chicken. Do your own meat stuff, you know. You see it in restaurants where people make a chicken crust pizza or chicken taco tortillas. Well, I don't know why, but they haven't done the waffle. Ah, and that's great. I bet Elizabeth's going to be so sick of chicken waffles this week. It's unreal. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm done with it, guys. I'm going to rinse my hands real quick, too. Hi, baby. We're doing your chicken waffle. <laughs> the big one. Oh, okay. So we're live. I have to get this live done and then get you off to work. But it has been a crazy, crazy morning. I tell you what. So to save a step and to save time, guys, I'm going to just go ahead and I am going to use a tablespoon of salt. You're like, what? Yeah, yeah. It is delicious. The meat can handle a tablespoon of salt. And because we are keto, we need more salt. I have totally kicked up my salt oil. And I do a teaspoon of pepper, of the ground black pepper. Use more or less as you like. This was not overwhelming at all. As a matter of fact, I was like, I could probably use more pepper, but I think that works. So, are you doing the chicken bowl? I'm doing the chicken waffle and a chicken bowl. That's it. Got it. And you can decide what you want on it. Although, she did. She was one of the first ones to take a bite of my uh, chicken waffle. And I'm using a combination, guys, of alternative barbecue sauce and top zero maple pecan syrup. Oh, drizzled over the top. It is amazing. Hey, did you really have to take my uh, phone with her yesterday in the car? Woo! Yeah, I thought that she might have. Sweet girl. She was having so much fun. So see, now I've got a bowl of ground chicken. And to it, I want to thin it down just a little bit. So I'm going to add three eggs to this, y'all. You could just drop them in there, but I've already got this darn thing open. So I'm just going to add them to it. Are you feeling better today, baby? Yeah. She was feeling sick. She's been feeling kind of nauseous, like there's some sort of bug going around the last three or four days. So Harvey, her sweet dude, got her some ginger tea and some gin no, ginger, ginger pills. A ginger pill supplement. And ginger beer. I forgot and ginger name. beer. So there you go. We're going to get this going again. And that's going to thin your chicken right down. And I even added just a splash of cream because why waffles have just a little liquid in them. Just enough. Just a splash, you guys. That's all. Not too much. If you need if you think it feels too thick, it feels too thick. Oh, I need to plug in. It's actually got the ginger at the bottom. And there's no sugar. Zero you got sugar. The keto ginger beer, y'all. But my guy's good. Because he's like that. He's so good. Okay, so I need to do that. That needs to stay going. We don't have to I need to get freaking crisp on here too. My camera's under this food processor. I can't see.
see what he was saying. That's not a long time. Oh, I couldn't hear you either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> blood sugar crashed to 45 after waffles and honest syrup. Today, yes, I'm a type 2 diabetic. So you had a sugar crash after eating waffles and syrup? Well, it probably wasn't Can I? Can I? Okay, I'm going to comment on the blood sugar thing because I um, have always dealt with hypoglycemia. I, I don't deal with the diabetics, so just kind of give me some leeway on this. But um, I started researching a lot about blood sugar and keto. And once you've been keto for a while, uh, your blood sugar can naturally drop. And I know that they say under, uh, and I know 45 is super low. So, but I'm just saying, I'm, they say normally if it gets under 70, you know, you, you're having an issue, you need to eat something. And so for the longest time, ah! Mine would go under 70, and I'd be like, oh, my gosh, you know, I need to eat some food or whatever. But then when Jimmy Moore started doing his fasting and everything, if you are, um, if you have any kind of intermittent fasting that you've done before you've ate, um, it is not abnormal for your blood sugar to drop on keto. Yeah, it's not. It's fasting, not. you can get very low blood so, sugar. And that's just kind of, but there you go. But err on the side of caution, yes. y'all. Um, if your blood sugar is in the 40s, Eat some carbs, okay? Get some carbs in. Uh, when she was dealing with it, when she was transitioning. She does since 2017. So you kind of understand where it goes. It should be, if you're a type 2 diabetic and you've been keto two years, you're probably, for the most part, not diabetic anymore. You're in remission. And if you've been fasting, it is not. Look it up. Google it. Uh, and you'll low blood like, sugar during extended fasting. And you'll notice normal. you don't have the symptoms. Um, you won't get the shakiness, the dizziness, the like feel like you're gonna pass out, feel like you need something. But if you have any of those, if you have any of those symptoms, yes. Nine one one. But just touching on that because I was freaking out about mine dropping low, and then it turned out that no, it's just normal. So I've got these guys now heating up. All right, yes, and I see her AC one was five point four. Her A one C is A1C. five. That's so you that's non-diabetic A1C. That's a beautiful, healthy, uh, that's a beautiful, healthy A1C. Okay? Yes. But when you hit a medical spot, guys, don't look to me, don't look to any online docs or whatever. If you feel like you are not right, you get a hold of your doctor, you get a hold of your practitioner right away, get a and and deal with that issue. Um, but in the meantime, if you're feeling great, your blood sugars are low because you've been fasting and you're not eating a lot of carbs, uh, just take some time to research that as well because you will, when uh, Jimmy Moore was doing the weak water fast, everybody's blood sugars were getting down in the 40s and the 50s, but it was part of the fasting process. So your body does different things that might seem dangerous for different reasons. So that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so I got this one going and this one going. Um, did you warn them about the... I did. Well, I'm going to. I'm getting to it. Okay, okay. so... <laughs> so here I'll say this is a warning, warning. Warning, warning. I Attempt or not attempt. Y'all wanted the recipe. Y'all want to know what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm putting chicken in my waffle makers, but they do tend to swell up, and when I try to release the latch, it doesn't want to. So I've got to go through this big... All of blue. Look, and look at her. She's prepared. And I'm using how my barbecue pit gloves. She's devoted to, to unlocking it. But it's so good. It's so good. I put my chicken in here. That thing locked down on me again. Anybody in the keto kitchen knows what that's like for me. Because I did it with regular waffle batter. No chicken. And it locked and I couldn't open it. Um, and it's fixing to do it again. This one has no lock. So I'm just going to use my power of my own body to hold it in place while it makes this waffle. <laughs> this the one chicken waffle struggle. popped the lock off that waffle. So this one is ready. It's hot. It's ready to go. I'm not even adding any oil to my bowl. It says to use about a half a cup of batter, guys, so which equals just like this little ball of ooey gooeyness. So all I'm doing, no batter, no none of this. You can if you want. We tried it. All right. And you're just going to drop it in there. You'll hear it sizzle. And go for it. Lock it down. Lock it. What is it? Lock it up. Lock it up. Wedding crashers. Oh, I was like, I Lock don't know. I've lost on this one. Not Lock sure. it down. And let it go. And it will swell. I'm, I've got a hot soapy sink of water here so that I can keep my chicken fingers washed. Hey, hon, would you do me a favor? What? Would you get out a bowl and do uh, 
one of those little things and do a half and half. Use half and half on your Chalk Zero uh, maple syrup and half on your Alterna Sweet barbecue sauce, guys. I can link up the, the companies for you. Uh, if you're a first time buyer or whatever, you could use my discount code for these things. Um, mind blowing, okay? So now this one is heating up, getting nice and hot. What I'm gonna do is, because your waffle maker holds about a cup and a half of batter, but chicken tends to swell while it's cooking. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm taking about a cup's worth and a quarter cup, just a blob of this. It's not gonna make a big giant square waffle. It's gonna make a kind of a rounded out one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat it down just a little bit into this big ooey gooey wet mess. And I'm gonna drop it into- <laughs> you're a keto warrior. I am a keto warrior. I'm having a hard day, I'll tell you that much today for whatever reason. But I am not, I am determined to try to get as much done today as I possibly can. Okay, that light is on still. All right. Okay. It is so good. All right, sweet girl, would you do me the honor of lifting that lid? I'm going to put it right in the center of and press, and then I will be right there. All right, so my keto arms are going to be the one holding this down. <laughs> yes. You like how she did that to me real quick? Because I'm fixing it. I'm telling you. I have chicken on my fingers. So this chicken, when she made it the other day, some of y'all saw me uh, pop in live. We were all standing here so giddy because we're like, you know what? This could be like a keto commercial, like a family that cooks together and then turns around and something comes out that's like been created and it's so awesome. But I mean, she's wearing gloves, you know, trying to pop this open and it won't. Next thing you know, the lash goes pop and it flies across the kitchen. And I have this way of looking over here to see. <laughs> this one's going to be as tish smaller. I use just a, hey, this one's going to open for me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so that's awesome, and this one we're not gonna have a problem. So I'm gonna hold this one, but when the, when the chicken came out of this, it tasted so good. So I have an idea. Okay, so yesterday, and guys, I, I have to run, so I can't make a huge mess in my kitchen today. So yesterday we did the uh, cauliflower mash. I did southern style green beans. Uh, we loaded the chicken bowl down. It was so oh, good. It was so, so, so good. But I thought, you know, with a chicken bowl like this, you could fill it with anything you love. Because uh, I was thinking peppers, onions, guacamole, sour cream, and making a chicken I just make fajita. it like a taco. I don't know if y'all saw Like a chicken fajita with the, everything on the inside, there your you pico, go. and you just gotta pick it up and eat it. So you can hear this just sizzling, sizzling. away. But fear not, boom, it's gonna work. Oh, that, okay, so we're there on this. Let's see. I'm in her way, y'all, sorry. Look, you guys, I gotta push this tip. This is a perfectly done chicken, all chicken bowl. It is carnivore. It has a little heavy cream, salt, pepper, and it is pure chicken. And so can you imagine, and look how flexible it is. I'm getting a steam bath over here. Okay, I'll come over there and rescue you. So you can <laughs> fill this if anything you want, anything you want, any flavor combination you want. <laughs> It's good. My grandkids were just eating them like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> this thing is like, it, it's lifting up on me. Okay, well, let's switch spots. Like, I'm, and you read, there we go. Else. There we go. No, I got it. I figured it out. Are you, are you tripping? You want my gloves? No. Well, see, my lock is gone. <laughs> my lock is the one, I mean, I can, it popped off. I've got to take so it back. So, caution, caution, y'all. <sighs> Let me read some comments while we wait for this beauty. And then I can just stick this in the fridge for later, cover it with some plastic wrap, and I can come back and I can make kick and chicken nuggets, I can make patties, I can make waffles, I can make bowls, whatever I want to, I'll use this here later on today. Um, I need that dash bowl cooker. Yes, yes you do. At the top of Keto For Real Life pay, uh, People page, I have a whole list of waffle makers with, uh, <laughs> With links to Amazon. I told her she should do this redneck Texas way and get a uh, vice, <laughs> what is it, a uh, uh, clamp? Oh yeah, a vice grip. Yes, because that's what this thing needs. I ate Rebel ice cream, it fixed my low sugar crash. Good going, De Debbie. Okay, is the sugar-free syrup not the waffles? Ah, beautiful. Is it, done? it looks 
Yes, yes, girl, it is. Wow, look at this, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Look at this beautiful, thick, you see how thick this waffle is. That is all chicken, and it is crispy on the outside. It is gonna be moist and delicious on the inside. You think, and there is a waffle taste to it, and when you add this Choc Zero syrup and the Alterna Sweets mixture of the sweet maple and the barbecue sauce. I oh, guess you could say it's gosh. a play on chicken and waffles because it's a chicken waffle. Without the flour, without all the stuff, without nuts, it is wonderful. So let me get a spoon and we can, we just tore it apart. Oh, hold on, we can do it like this. Can I go ahead and do okay. the chicken dips? Okay. okay. So just drizzle this bad boy um, with syrup. This is what I'm calling it, it's syrup, y'all. Okay? All right, so there we go. That is the beauty of this, y'all. And uh, you're right, we do need knives. I'm gonna get it. I, I got a butter sharp one. I'm like, I picked up a butter knife, see what I get. So you can cut into this. Can you freeze the chicken waffles for later? Now, I have not frozen them yet, but I'm sure anything can be frozen. It's already cooked, and you can just pop it in your oven to reheat it, or your toaster oven, or you could nuke it. But I would do the oven because you would want that crispness. It's sort of like trying to put a fish stick in a, in a microwave. It would not. Oh, yeah, baby. It, I could tell by touch. Uh, let's go over there. Okay. Come on. Follow me. Let me just show you guys how beautiful that is. It is done. Dun, dun, dun. Let's bit. I'm so afraid my stomach's been messing. Oh, you don't want to? Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, that's good. Could you imagine being in a restaurant, going in just to get this, and put some bacon on it, it or cheese or <clears throat> eggs? Topping it any way you want to, or just you could even top it with a little bit of collie mash. Yeah, I mean, just like it would be a play on waffles and ice cream. So you turn around and you take that chicken waffle, and then you put a little ball of collie mash on top of it, and everybody would think you're having a Some waffle country and ice cream. gravy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My gosh, you guys, you could you could do this any so. way you want. I just have to keep showing it to you because this is absolutely this is what it's like. It is. Look how thick. Juicy, tender. Hi to your niece Angela. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, the recipe. I <clears throat> the recipe will be going up, guys. But here it is. This is so simple. Ground chicken, one and a half pounds. One tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. Three oh, well, eggs and about mm, two or three tablespoons of heavy cream. Mix it until it's all lick, you know, soft. It's moist. It's loose. It's not runny, but it's loose. You put about a cup and a half in the center of your waffle maker and you just press it down or lock it down. My lock broke. Or you can, and you bread it. You bread it with a little bit of uh, panko. So it's that easy. I can make one real quick. Would you? Oh, yes. I'm going to teach y'all. Okay, so I don't know if y'all saw Coming the Coming for fall. Coming for fall, you saw the video of the ice cream maker. Y'all. You want to use a scoop? Y'all. You want to scoop? We have... Pumpkin spice ice cream. Ah, oh, there it is. Mm, oh, look, look at that. Ice cream scoop. Pumpkin spice ice cream. You wanna? It's pumpkin pie ice cream. A little bowl. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look. It actually scoops out like ice cream. Tastes like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie ice cream, y'all. Coming this fall. I have been doing. <laughs> This falls, well, for me, fall starts September 1st, guys, so you won't have to wait too terribly long. Um, Keto. Absolutely no sugar alcohols. Yeah. Half the amount of all you lose that it normally took, so I did tweak that a little bit. I found that we could get by with half the amount of all you lose and sub, sub it with uh, some monk fruit and resveratrol. So this was absolutely yeah. over the top deliciousness. <laughs> God, this is so good. I. I, I mean, mm, I can't even get over how delicious this is. Like, I would say I have no need for fried chicken anymore in my life. I have no need for chicken thighs. I have no need for chicken tenders. This is where it's at. And I will get this recipe up, guys. 
when we leave here today, I've got to take this little lady ma back to work. Yes, ma'am. And um, I'm going to eat. Okay. I've got to go by. I got to go to the nursing home today. I have an appointment afterwards. I have worship practice tonight. <laughs> and uh, I still have to run by the doctor's office for my husband and do some things. So my day is Are gone. Are you so. another chicken thing or no? Mm -mm. I was going to. Should I? Mm. I think we're going to call it done because we don't have a lot of time. This ice cream is bomb diggity. And I'm going to come up here because I just, I just want you to see how, see how beautifully, beautiful that scoops right out. And, you know, it just came straight out of the freezer. So there is no um, hardness to it or anything. It just scoops right out, y'all. Mm. All right, guys. Remember, that's first. We do have more waffles coming this week. I'm going to continue with the waffles. Um, we have some chocolate dessert-style waffles. We've got some dessert-style waffles coming your way. And I'm working on another savory. And I know that I did some waffles the other day for the chicken pot pie savory. But I have this new little machine that I ordered and you don't have to order everything just because I do. But if you want to, you're more than welcome to. Okay, I'm just putting that out there, guys. But I'm looking at making all kinds of things. And hopefully somewhere in my future, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, um, someday there will be a product of Keto for Real Life People products out there that real life keto people can use. But I got this, uh, this little Pizzelle maker. And it is two flat irons. Do you see how beautiful that is? And I took my waffle waffle uh, batter that I developed the other day and a tablespoon in this, tablespoon and a half, made beautiful, soft, pliable tortilla wraps that just, my, Elizabeth put uh, walnut butter on it and oh my God. She, she was like, taste it, mom. I'm like, I don't even like walnut butter. She will taste it, mom. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good, you know? <laughs> so just, like I said, just because I ordered this you don't have to but it is another game changer and if we can find ways to make our journey pleasurable along the way and enjoy our great food hey I'll have to share a link <laughs> that's all I can say so have a wonderful afternoon y'all say a prayer for my mother-in-law say a prayer for this family remember fats first moderate protein low carb and get to some